The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Well, it's uh, going to be a long trip, a, a trip that's a little bit longer than what we're normally used to on a bus. And so we've got to have some maturity to handle that. And we got to um, uh, have some maturity to improve in some phases of our game, which all of it really over last week's ball game because we're supposed to improve a whole lot from the first ball game to the second ball game. But that don't just happen. You don't sit around and talk about that and it happened. You, it, that happens because you have a plan to make it happen. Uh, we got to be better football players and better football team and we got to be better coaches than we were at first ball game. And uh, so we're looking forward to, to taking another step and improving. And uh, of course, we're playing a team that, uh, even though they played one ball game, they played against a, a Division One team that was semifinalists in the playoffs last year, or at least quarterfinals. But I believe they were semifinalists, and so they played against a really good football team. And it's hard sometimes to evaluate exactly uh, what did they do that was normal, and what are they going to do differently this week. And uh, so there's still a, an awful lot of preparation and unknowns, and and. Uh, and so that's what we're up against this week. Hey, you talked about the, the long trip. What kinds of opportunities for fellowship are there with a trip of this length this early in the season? Well, there's not any question that uh, being together and sharing a common experience and eating together and seeing some sights and doing some things and lining up for battle, uh, all that's good. You know, there's a... Uh, uh, that's the best kind of growth there is. And, uh, uh, but again, it's got to be um, in some ways uh, coaches and leaders have got to manufacture that in some ways and to, to, in order to get the maximum out of it. Uh, most penalized team in the country <laughs> after week one. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do from a coach's perspective to work on that from week one to week two? Well, you got to be really careful with it because you can make it an issue to where you start playing cautious, uh, which I'll be honest with you, sometimes I don't, I'm not sure I know how to coach under the rules that we're playing under now, uh, where a kid has to be cautious if an if a offensive player is catching the ball and going down to catch the ball and you're, co and you're going after the ball too, but you hit him above the neck then it's a penalty and, and out of the game, you know? Or if uh, a running back is running and he and he stumbles and starts falling and you're coming to tackle him and at the last minute he does that and you hit, it, hit him up in here. You know, even if you hit him with your shoulder, which is what happened Saturday, we didn't hit with our helmet, we hit with our shoulder, but it was above the neck and so the rule says you're out of the game. And uh, so uh, tell me, as a play, play coach, and tell me how you coach kids to do that and not be aggressive and not be going wide open after somebody. And then at the last minute, you know, somebody falls or stumbles or, or you, you do end up hitting them, you know, because they're low, you end up hitting them in the, in the, in the above the shoulders. You know, I don't know how to coach that. And, uh, and some of the other uh, calls that we got, Saturday, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I... I don't know, of course you told me that uh, we had at least two completions that were called incomplete, that, uh, and one of them was a touchdown. And so, um, you know, I think there's, a, uh, we just keep doing what we've always done and try to improve it and try to, uh, I guess, dodge bullets in some ways, you know. And uh, uh, now there was a whole bunch of penalties, uh, offsides, uh, jumping before the ball is snapped, uh, we had, uh, uh, you know, we had a couple more of, of penalties before the ball is snapped. That certainly can be prevented. Uh, you know, pre-snap penalties are awful because they're probably stupid on our behalf. And, uh, and then post-whistle uh, penalties are stupid because that probably means you're, you're not disciplined. But none of ours were that. You know, uh, a few of them were pre-snap, but none of them were post-snap. All of our penalties were, you know, holding, I don't know, that, that, uh, that uh, I don't know. You mentioned St. Augs plays a really good team uh, in their 
their opener, and that's kind of difficult to glean stuff from that. But what is something that you did pick up from uh, the tape from the North Carolina A&T game? Uh, very, very talented in places. Uh, got some guys that can run. Got some people that are huge. Uh, got some people that the quarterback is a tremendously skilled person. And uh, I think he accounted for probably about 70 percent. I hadn't looked at the statistics, but I'd say at least I have looked at statistics, but I hadn't put the, the calculator on it. But I'd say probably about 70 percent of their offense was from their quarterback. And uh, he can run, he can throw, uh, he can keep drives alive. He can take one 88 and out the gate. And so, you know, he's, he's got capabilities. How do you assess how the young players on defense fare in their first game? Uh, sometimes great and sometimes failures, you know, not getting lined up right, not covering the right person, uh, but we'll get better, you know. Uh, but we had some mental mistakes that was inexcusable uh, and, and they got to, uh, got to simplify enough to where they don't have to think about it. They can get lined up and play football. And, uh, and we can sit around as coaches and say, well, he shouldn't have done this and he shouldn't have done that. But you know it's up to us to get them lined up and get them in a get them uh, uh, understanding of what they're supposed to do and, and get it done. Noah Suber's first start uh, of his career. How do you think that he handled himself under the circumstances? Noah Suber had a good football game. Was it perfect? No. Did he miss some reads? Yes. Uh, did he overthrow some throws? Yes. Uh, but he had a good football game. A great opening game to build on. When you look at the running back position. Montavious Taylor, Jamal Jones, how do you think that those two guys carried themselves as kind of the workhorses? Well, Wimbush, don't forget him. Right. So we got three that can play. And, uh, and keeping them well is going to be the secret. And, uh, and keeping them playing like they are. But boy, they'll play hard. They'll give you an unbelievable effort. Did they block good? Not all the time. Uh, they turned people loose on the quarterback a couple of times. And uh, did, uh, uh, did we grade out perfect? No. Uh, we missed a veer lane a few times and uh, ran inside the tackles block and still outside the tackles block. But but overall, uh, we don't have to worry about the effort from those three. We, they'll give it to us. You've had the extra, I guess, two days to prepare uh, between games. Have you done anything differently during that time? Well, I got our SID out to take an evaluation of our pump protection and, and, and he, he listened to the whole discussion and and uh, uh, even volunteered to come off of the edge and see if he could get there to block one. Uh, but he didn't give me a conclusion, so I don't know. You know, he, He's like a lot of other people. They're okay with it to tell you about what you did wrong on Monday, but they won't tell you on Tuesday what you need to do. And that's kind of what our SID did to me today. I did tell you what you need to do. Just don't punt. Ah, I didn't hear that part. That's a good solution. Yeah, yeah. I, gave, I gave you the answer. Okay, okay. So... Fourth and 13? We're throwing it. We're throwing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hey, you, you talked you talk about <coughs> uh, the pump block, that kickoff returns. What, what's the biggest area of emphasis in terms of special teams? Well, we started practice yesterday with kicking game. We'll start it today with kicking game because it is an emphasis because – you know, you got three phases of the game. You got offense, defense, kicking. Offense and defense, you know, you don't know going into the ball game. There's a lot of variables. Kicking game, it ought to be the same every week. You ought to win that one just because you prepared so well. And, you, and it don't matter what they do, you, you're ready to line up against it. And uh, so uh, to lose a kicking game as bad as we lost it Saturday was, was uh, boy, it was it so distasteful. It was unbelievable. And it's got to get better. Defensively for uh, SAU, is there a particular player there that sticks out to you? Uh, there's 11 of them that look pretty good to me that can run. And, uh, you know, they were playing against a lot of speed, and they matched up pretty good speed-wise. And so that's scary. Because, you know, speed may be the most important element there is on defense. And so uh, I can't call any names because uh, they all look pretty good to me. So uh, I – we got we got to go block some of them. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.